Hello AACPS staff and welcome to a short tutorial on how to create a Google Calendar and change the sharing permissions on that. So here we are on Google Calendar and if you have not visited Google Calendar before there are two common ways to get here. One is from your Google Drive if you click on your waffle in the upper right hand corner you'll find Calendar here among your apps and you can click to access it. But you can also open a new tab and simply type in calendar.google.com. So with your Google account, everyone has a default calendar and the name on that calendar is simply your name. And this is where you can put any sort of events that you don't want to forget. But when it comes to sharing, you may not want to share your personal calendar with other people like colleagues that you work with in your school or students. And this is where Google allows you to create multiple calendars and then you can choose to share a specific calendar that only includes the events that you want a certain user to see. So in this use case scenario we're going to talk about creating and sharing calendars to help your students keep track of their Google assignments in Brightspace. So here we are on my Google Calendar and I'm going to create a new calendar specifically for my class and I'll do that by coming down to this area that says other calendars and clicking the plus sign here. Then I'm going to create a new calendar. I'm going to name this calendar the same as my class is named. Once I've given my calendar a name and typed a description to help me and my students remember the purpose of this calendar, I can double check that the time zone is correct and then I click create calendar right here at the bottom. Now it tells me at the bottom of my screen that my calendar has been successfully created so I'll click the arrow in the upper left to return to see all of my calendars here and my brand new calendar is right here on the list. Now let's talk about changing settings for this calendar, specifically sharing it. So I'm going to hover over the calendar and click on my snowman here to open up the option to access settings and sharing for this calendar. Right here under access permissions it gives me an option to make my calendar viewable to the public and that's what we're going to want to do to put the calendar on Brightspace. Alternatively you could invite all of your students but especially for my secondary teachers that's a lot of invitations to send out. So what I'm going to do is just make it public. It does give me a warning here that that would make it visible to everybody but I don't care if they know the due dates of my assignments so I'm good with that. I'm going to click OK and then I have a couple of options. I can get a link to my calendar here or if I scroll down a little bit I have an option to get an embed code which is going to be great for Brightspace. So check back in our future videos to see how to add events to the calendar and how to add that to your Brightspace homepage.